The Nutley Raiders have come together early in training camp, despite not having their head coach on the field. Steve DiGregorio is on the mend, but is keeping close tabs on his team's progress. Our thoughts and prayers are with our head football coach, uh, Steve DiGregorio. He's, uh, he had surgery a couple of weeks, uh, a couple of weeks ago, so he's going to be out for the first uh, couple of months, and uh, we're really uh, hoping he's going to be back with us. We're looking forward to him being back with us uh, on October 1st, and, uh, but he's in communication with us every day. He's in good spirits, and so it uh, gives us kind of something else you know, to play for, you know, to, to uh, uh, kind of do it for, uh, for him as well. Justin Lucia, who had an impressive TD to INT ratio of 11 to three as a junior, is back to lead the Raiders offense at quarterback. Nutley closed out the season on a three game win streak. The Raiders hope that late season boost of confidence will carry over to 2019, starting with the season opener on September 7th against Bloomfield. Uh, we're doing well, uh, we're moving fast, it's good. And uh, we're hoping that we can uh, win a couple more games this year in the playoffs, hopefully have a home game, the Oval, and that's what we're really working for. Tell me a little bit about the Oval. What's, what's it like to play there? Uh, it's really great. It's middle of town, nothing like it. Nothing like one o'clock game on a Saturday. Like, just the best feeling that you can get. It's just great. I mean, like, everyone like in the whole town comes out and like, we have like stairs that we walk down for like warm-ups and like pre-game and obviously onto the field. And it's just like nothing like you going out there and seeing everything, it's awesome. We continue our camp countdown every day in August with high school football previews from every part of New Jersey. I'm Rich Crampanis for JerseySportsZone.com.